time for Top That Trade. Joining us today, Phil Flynn, a Fox Business Network contributor, and Alan Nuckman, an options trading pro. Here we go, a few rounds, guys. Round number one, bubble trouble. Tech has made a comeback and is now up nearly 25% for the year. What's your top bubble trade? Technically, they're saying that a bubble is something that goes up a thousand percent over 10 years. No, no, no. A bubble is when it goes to your nose, it tinkles your toes, and then, baby, you know. Colby That's... Calais made it very clear she defined a bubble perfectly. But I'm not in the business of calling bubbles. I'm in the business of being able to be in high probability trades. So Wait. Amazon's been essentially straight up for 10 years. So you're it's not up a 13... bubble caller? It's, not, it's, not up thir... it's been up 1,300% in 10 years, but I'm not saying it's over in Amazon. Well, the, the bottom line is, is that Amazon is probably due for a correction. I think Jeff Bezos it was, was due the for richest man three... in the world. Uh, for 20 minutes, and then he wasn't. He, it was it was due for a correction at $300, $400, $500, $600. And so this is actually healthy for the market. People have to realize that sometimes when a stock gets ahead of itself, the best thing that could happen is for the bubble to burst because then you can get rid of this herd mentality that could drive it up to scary levels and do some so real you're, damage. So are you to saying that this is? Are you saying market. this is the top in Amazon? I am saying that we are going to pull back on Amazon for a while, and that's healthy. And then it's going to give all you people an opportunity to buy in who missed it the first time. So the P.E. ratio on Amazon is at 200. So that's been a very high metric. Are you saying that the market is never going to pull back on Amazon? For a long time. Going to go straight up? But people have missed out on the opportunity for <clears throat> years, in my opinion. Round number two, hedge bet. A VIX trade with $265 million profit potential hit the tape recently. What play looks promising to you? I, I think, first of all, that's a great trade because VIX is at a historic low, and the person that's making this bet is really going with history because the VIX shouldn't be able to stay as low as it has for as long as it has. So the odds are we're coming up to October. We have a lot of stocks that are overvalued. Volatility should come back into this market. The biggest fear I have about this bubble market that we're talking about is the lack of fear. And that's not necessarily a good thing because if you flip the switch from fear, from, from complacency overnight, that's when you get major sell-offs or major stock market corrections. We are overdue historically from any measure for a stock market correction. And, and so the odds are very good that that trade should work. My question is, is this a hedge or is this a bet? Is this a trade where he's looking to profit if it moves up? Or is this a protection on a very, very large portfolio of stocks right. where the VIX would gain if the stock market went down? So that's, that's well, the internal question. Let me they tell you the big risk on this trade. Day. Right. The big risk on this trade is that right. it doesn't go back up. He needs it to be above 25 at expiration Let me tell you the greater October. risk here is the people that have been selling volatility for the last couple of months to make right. up for a lot of problems. I don't you aren't you a little bit concerned? I mean, we have sh record short open interest in the VIX. People are selling it. What they're doing is they're, you know, they're losing money on their day trades. They're selling the VIX to make up the difference. That never will end well. And we go to round number three, shrinkflation equation. Thousands of food items are shrinking in physical size instead of bigger sizes on the price. What does this mean to the market? The most disturbing fact is right. beer. I was on vacation and cans of beer were 11 and a half ounces instead of 12. Where is that? Where How is that? Can, that, that? First of all, it wasn't in America, so I can say it, that's un-American, which yes. it was. Okay. Which it was. But, but it there's was Canadian beer. But there's sneaky inflation. If you look at gold prices, gold prices have rebounded once yeah. again. Crude oil is close to $50 a barrel. So there's sneaky inflation that we've got to be aware of. And this doesn't normally happen everywhere, but it's happening in Europe, in the UK. They're the biggest consumers of chocolate in Europe, and they're getting smaller bars. And there's outrage. Has Brexit called, caused? smaller candy bars no wonder you vote to leave the EU you get smaller candy bars not a good thing uh, and I'll tell you what one of the problems we've had with the candy bar market the the producers hedge at a much higher prices cocoa prices are actually lower dramatically they should make the bars bigger Willy Wonka is outraged they, it doesn't work that way they, they're, they're quick to raise prices but they never bring it back down and in our final bonus round question for today a billionaire investor who called the dot-com bubble now says Bitcoin is a pyramid scheme or did he say it was the best investment ever? Choose one. I'm well, wondering. it was the best investment when it was at $300 and yes. went to 3000 Thank you very much. So that was like in a year, but I don't know if it's the best investment now. There are some people looking for it to go a lot higher. 
Uh, anything in theory could happen. <laughs> Bitcoin's like a religion. It's not even like a currency. People that buy this stuff believe in it. But how do you believe in something that really isn't backed by anything? And, and we've had a lot of concerns. Listen, here's a, a, a currency that's back made out of computers. And, and, you know, what's the biggest threat to the world right now? Getting hacked in computers right now. So I think he thinks it's a, a bad investment. What do you say? I agree. You are correct today. A bad investment, better known as a pyramid scheme. Yes, we both got it. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. There you go. Thank you. Congratulations. Great job, guys. Business First AM continues after this.